Hello everyone, I am Dr. Farah Azhar. I am an obstetrician and gynecologist. I have done my graduation and post-graduation from Aligarh JN Medical College, AMU. What is hysterectomy or what is this uterus removal surgery? Hysterectomy is basically derived from two terms, hysteros and ectomy. Hysteros start, stands for uterus and ectomy for removal. So basically, removal of uterus by surgical procedures is known as hysterectomy. Uterus is a child-bearing organ and why we are removing it, that needs strong indications. So now I will discuss why is it done. First of all, it is commonly done for the fa uh, woman who has completed her family. So the common indications include a fibroid which cannot be ma uh, managed medically or by myomectomy endometriosis or uterine prolapse or the malignancy of uterus or cervix besides prolapse of the uterus these are the gynecological indications for hysterectomy in case of obstetrics it is usually done when it is pph that is postpartum hemorrhage that is not managed by medical or other uh, procedures besides conditions like adherent placenta which include placenta accreta syndrome also requires hysterectomy. Besides that, other obstetrical indications include any rupture uterus that cannot be conserved, we need to remove the uterus. The types of hysterectomy. The type, depending upon the part that is removed, it has been divided into several types. It includes subtotal hysterectomy, total hysterectomy, total abdominal hysterectomy with bilateral salpingoephorectomy and radical hysterectomy. Now coming to the subtotal hysterectomy. In this only the uterus. I want to explain that uterus consists of two parts, uterine body and cervix. In subtotal hysterectomy only uterus is removed. This is a quick procedure and usually done where we have to remove uterus immediately we have to conserve time and that is done in life-saving conditions like postpartum hemorrhage. Next is total hysterectomy. In this, whole of the uterus and cervix is removed. The other one is total hysterectomy with bilateral salpingoephorectomy. In this uterus, cervix, both the fallopian tubes and both the ovaries are removed. The last is the radical hysterectomy. This involves removal of the uterus, cervix, part of vagina and pelvic lymph nodes. Now depending upon the indication for which we are performing the surgery, the procedure hysterectomy, there are various surgical approach. And also depending upon the skill and expertise of the surgeon decides the approach of the hysterectomy. So conventionally there can be total abdominal hysterectomy. This is an open procedure in which an uh, incision is given upon the abdomen. Next is laparoscopically. Laparoscopically, there are two ways. Either it is TLH, that is total laparoscopic hysterectomy, or LAVH, that is laparoscopic assisted vaginal hysterectomy. In TLH, the entire procedure is done by putting laparoscope in the abdomen and even the uterus is removed through laparoscopically abdominally. In uh, LAVH, it is removed through vagina with the assistance of using laparoscope abdominally. Last is vaginal hysterectomy. In this, there are no incision made on the abdomen and the whole of the uterus is removed vaginally.